If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my Autumn Blast predictions. Now, as you guys you know, the Autumn Blast promo, which is formerly known as the Harvest promo, formerly by other aliases, the Thanksgiving promo, will be coming out Monday, which is November 16th. Now, we can only hope that was right, but the EA page did say coming Monday, November 16th, so we're hoping that is it. Uh, we will be getting a special stream Sunday, so I'm assuming that all lines up for the Autumn Blast promo. Now, we typically can count on a few things from this promo, and I'll go over all that as we do get into the video, guys. But before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below. Come join the Poodle Squad. All you gotta do to join the Poodle Squad is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, uh, turn on the noti button. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout-out, we got John Fernandez. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you for showing support each and every day. And moving on from that, guys, as far as predictions go, you guys all know, most promos follow a similar format. Yes, like with Halloween last year, Halloween this year, there was Cauldron stuff, there was a new currency, there was Castle Jakenstein, that'll change. But what did we get? Scary Fast, Scary Tall, Scary Strong, and um, Scary Strong, Scary Tall, Scary Fast... Scary Sharp. So we had all the, we had all those four, right? We can always expect on a certain format, and I feel like it's going to be the same thing with the Harvest as you guys see on the screen. So first, guys, I'm going to start with going over what we, what we had last year and then go over my format, right? So a lot to go over here. So let's start with the basics, right? We had two masters last year, one offensive, one defensive. We got Night Train Lane as the defensive. We got an offensive Michael Irvin. Next, guys, we got the Objectives player. And these are players that we've had for the longest time in Olden Team. Pretty much players that play on Thanksgiving, they will go ahead and and give each team on Thanksgiving that plays one specific objective card, and this card powers up or increases based on the performance. So, Roquan Smith was a 90 overall, right? You did his collection. Now, these cards were also good ways to make coins. So, Roquan Smith 90 overall would be like 160k, but if he hits his one objective, he becomes a 91, and he goes up to like 190k, and if he hits a second objective, he goes up to 92, and he goes up to like 200 something, right? So, here you can go. So, on Thanksgiving Day, Roquan Smith needs six plus tackles, so he got plus one, and a sack to get another plus one. So if he gets one of them, he's a 91, gets both 92. As you can see here, he got both. He's a 92. We had um, a few of them. We had, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We had, where is the other one? Marshall and Lattimore, one pass defended, one interception. We had TJ Hawkinson, three receptions, one touchdown. We had Calvin Ridley, 40 receiving yards, 100 receiving yards. We had Micah Hyde, four tackles, interception. And we had Dak Prescott, 250 passing yards, and three total touchdowns. Now, there may be another one, but then, of course, guys, we had these, which were pretty cool. They were Harvest players that were upgradable. Now, I'm not going to predict those because, of course, I can't. It's going to be tough. Like, So, here are the ones that we had We had that were like the Harvest upgradable cards. So, coming on down, we had Joey Bosa. We had Quentin Nelson. We had Zach Ertz. Odell Beckham Jr. Tom Brady. Uh, Ryan Kerrigan. AJ Bouye. Adrian Amos. All these 92s right here, guys, were part of us. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We had eight total guys. Now those are tough. So they started at 76 overalls, and you had to put in like Thanksgiving collectibles or training, whatever it was, to act or the currency to go ahead and upgrade them to a 92. So Odell was like one of the more popular ones last year, which kind of crazy to think that a 90 speed Odell was that popular last year. When meanwhile we already have like 94 speed wide receivers, but it is what it is. Uh, definitely excited for this guys. But let's get into what my predictions are. So we're doing two masters. We're gonna predict the Thanksgiving Day. Now if you see here on ESPN, these are the Thanksgiving Day games. We have Houston at Detroit. Washington football team at Dallas and Baltimore Ravens at Pittsburgh Steelers. So Pretty simple six teams. They typically do one offensive and one defensive as you can see here. So um, The Bears played I believe Let's see. Let's see. I think I think the Bears played the Lions Potentially so it was TJ Hawkinson at Roquan Smith. So you guys well, you guys get the point So I'm gonna break out my predictions list real quick right here and start off with what we got So we do know one guaranteed guy, but I'll go over that near the end. So let's start with my game day objective So let's start with this game which is going to be Pittsburgh at Baltimore. Starting from the bottom here. Now, let's go back to regular Madden, of course, because I do want to show you guys what their cards look like now. So, a guy that I think could end up getting the upgrade card is going to be... It's a simple. It's a simple guy. Minka Fitzpatrick on the Pittsburgh Steelers as the defensive one. So, Minka currently only has an 88 overall, so he could definitely use an upgrade. So, his base card would be a 90. So, as a base card 90, Minka would probably have, like, a 90 speed. Uh, 82 hit power, 91 zone. Let's not let's not go over those stats, right? So let's go over what they could be. So I, I'd imagine his his objectives would probably be like probably I'd say an interception, and then let's go with maybe three plus tackles, right? Three tackles and interception. More more or less what we're going to be dealing with there. So let's say he gets three plus tackles and interception, 
or five plus tackles. That's probably what his are going to be. If he does get them guys in nine two overall, Minka Fitzpatrick would end up being let's see, probably ninety one speed or ninety one speed unpowered up, so probably ninety two powered up. Probably end up with like an eighty five hit power. Probably end up with a ninety four zone, which ends up getting to a ninety nine powered up and chemed up. Probably gets to a ninety man powered up and chemed up as well, as well as above ninety players. So Minka will be one of the best safeties in the game if he does end up getting that card. And moving on to the next one, guys. This is going to be for the Ravens game. So for the offensive Ravens game, I'm going to go with Marquise Brown. Hollywood Brown would be an awesome addition, guys. Also, this now I'm not seeing any Marquise Brown's cards for the year. So this would be like his first big upgrade. Now, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown. If he gets a 90 overall card, guys, this card would be absolutely insane. Considering, um, let's go back to here. I like it better on this page right here. Let's see. Marquise Brown. So he's got 89 speed. Now, a Marquise Brown card, 90 overall. Let's go 92. Uh, let's see. So he would have to get probably, I'd say one touchdown is a plus one, and then 100 receiving yards is probably the other plus one. So that would mean him going up to a 92 overall would probably give him like a 94 speed. I mean, you think maybe even higher, 95 speed? Not 94. I'd probably say 94 or 95 speed. And his route running probably ends up being in the, I'd say he ends up getting to 90 deep route running, probably uh, doesn't get the medium route running and probably comes short in the short. As well as his spec, I say all of his catching is going to be high 80s. His route running will probably only hit the deep threshold, but his speed will probably get to 94, 95, which would be super, super great. Now we're going to the Cowboys versus the Washington football team. And for this game specifically, I think we end up with Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith's last card was the Rivals card we got for just playing the first Rival solos. A Jalen Smith card will probably need, I'd say, probably one pass deflected maybe because he does play again in zone and stuff and maybe force fumble or, no, it's too hard. This is tough. Maybe six tackles and a pass deflection. So he would go up to probably, guys, a 92 overall, probably 88 speed at linebacker, which is super solid. His hit power goes in the 90s. His zone power up in Camden gets probably to like an 86. His block shot gets like a probably 75. His play rate gets close to 90. The card overall will be decent. I don't think it will exceed like, you know, Patrick Willis, Shazier, or the other new linebacker that we just got that's super good, uh, Roquan Smith. I don't think it exceeds them, but he's still going to be pretty good. For the next guy, I'm going with Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson hasn't gotten a single big card this year, surprisingly. He's had a pretty good season. Now, Antonio Gibson, based off this card, let's go back to this one, actually. So, Antonio Gibson will probably need, I'd say, 80 yards rushing and then one touchdown for 92. So, he would need, or he would probably get a 92. I'd say, like, a 91 speed. 91 speed, 92 speed. Probably ends up with, like, a 92 agility, a 92 excel. So, he's going to be a decently... A, Decent, really well speed back with a decent break tackle, decent catching. Going to be a very well-rounded back. Nothing too special coming from the Jalen, I mean, um, Antonio Gibson. Next for the Lions versus Texans, I think we'll get Trey Flowers, the defensive one for the Lions. Trey Flowers would be really good. I'd say he probably needs, uh, I'd say a sack for a plus one, and then maybe to keep it simple, just two plus sacks for another one. You know what I mean? Like, because I've done that stuff like that before, um, or three tackles. But he would probably end up being really, really good. So him at a 92 would probably end up having a 90 plus power move. A 90, close to a 90 block shot. I don't think he hits 90 block shot, which does kind of suck. Um, his speed will be closer to an 80. His tackle will be like an 85, 86. His play record will be closer to a 90. The car will be good. I think it will be more Lions themed to me. I don't think it will be meta. So far, none of these cards have been meta besides Marquise Brown will be really good. Minka Fitzpatrick will be really good. But none of the other ones so far, because they typically never are. They're typically just really good cards. And then for the final guy... I'm going with Deshaun Watson for the Texans. Watson seems like a lock. There's always a quarterback. And obviously, we had Dak last year. Deshaun Watson makes sense. Currently, we have Watson at 84 overall. So, Deshaun Watson would probably need, I'd say, 250 plus passing yards or maybe 300 passing yards. But it kind of goes based on, they want to make it realistic, right? So, when Dak had 350 plus passing yards, he had a really high passing offense. Deshaun Watson plays more of a well rounded offense in terms of he scrambles a little bit too, it's a little bit more. But I say 300 passing yards for Watson. So, 300 passing yards for Watson because he has been airing out a lot this season. And two, maybe three combined touchdowns, three passing, uh, one rushing. If they do it like that, that'd be cool. So a 92 overall Deshaun Watson would probably end up with an 84 speed, um, probably 91, probably after chems and everything could probably get him up to like a 90. Well, let's just start without chems. 91 throw power. He probably can get his deep up to an 87, his mid up to like an 87, and his throw accuracy short to a 90. His throw under his throw under the run will probably be a 90, and throw under pressure will be close to 90. Now, if the power up and chemed up, you could probably get the throw deep above 90. You can get the throw power to like a 94, 94, 95 ish. The card's going to be good again. Watson always has an issue with never getting the best cards, but we're kind of used to that at this point. Now, for the Masters, guys. For the defensive, well, let's start actually, let's start back. 
For the offensive mask, they're going to be Tony Romo probably. They did tease a Tony Romo uh, in the Autumn Blast picture. So I'm going to go with Tony Romo because regardless, I'd feel dumb if I didn't. I have no stats to go off of, but I'll go big. He's going to be a field general quarterback probably. Going to have wet, very well-rounded stats. Kind of going to be built like how Kurt Warner would be built. Very good, um, good medium, good short, good throw accuracy deep. Average, uh, slightly above average throw power. Nothing too special. Going to be a, a very well-rounded quarterback. Could be very good, though, depending on the overall game. Like, if he gets, like, a 94 overall, 95 overall master, could be really good. I don't know if they'd go that route. And for my defensive master, I'm going to go with Lawrence Taylor. There's just some guys that always get fake seven cards, and it seems like it can't be Barry Sanders this year because of um, just the way it's going to work out. And it can't be Barry. We had Michael Irvin in Night Train Lane last year. Lawrence Taylor's turn once again. It's always a few teams that always get the Thanksgiving Masters. But Lawrence Taylor. A nine, let's go with a 95 overall Lawrence Taylor, right? Powered up. He's going to have... A 93 speed. Or nine, let's go with 92 speed. 92 speed, 94 excel. 90, actually, maybe 95 excel. 90, 92 speed, 95 excel. 90 strength, 90 tackle, 90 play rec, 91 block shed, 95 power move, and probably 91 or 92 finesse move. So he's going to have the block shed threshold finally, which makes him an insane run stuffer. Going to have, he's going to be fast. He's going to be about as fast as Tiger McLaurin, which is going to be crazy. And he's going to have crazy or even better power move. And his strength finally gets above 90, and his play rec, and his tackle. Lawrence Taylor is going to be the best defensive player in the game if he does get those upgrades. But guys, that's about it for the video. This covers everything. So to wrap it up, we got Minka Fitzpatrick, Marquise Brown, Jalen Smith, Antonio Gibson, Trey Flowers, Deshaun Watson for the game day objectives. We got Lawrence Taylor and Romo. Now there's a few other guys that we could see like in a blitz, but I'll, I'll do a separate blitz video because it was kind of long. But like I, we could see a Barry Sanders LTD. We could see a Michael Irvin LTD, a Night Train Lane LTD. We could see quite a few other things on there as well. RG3 would be super cool. But again, I just don't know yet because of how the format's been. We have to really wait and see. There are also those Harvest cards that do upgrade. So again, I didn't have predictions for those. So that could be anyone in the NFL. It didn't seem very specific. So I didn't really have predictions for that. That's just guessing at that point. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you want a chance to be shout out on the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad. Turn the noti bell, like the video. All you got to do is ask for the shout out, guys, and you pretty much get it. So take advantage. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new, subscribe. If you guys need coins, stay up for Monday's Autumn Blast. Uh, go down below to my reserve. Use code Poodle 15% off your order. That's been it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.